It's Nancy and Sharon. Here we are again, and we're glad that you joined us for um, day 15 of the 21 days of breakthrough prayer. <clears throat> Today is um, our topic is praying in community, and how important is that when we get together and pray? How powerful it is when we pray together. And I'm just going to read the verse that came along with um, uh, our, our uh, reading today. It's 2 Corinthians 1.11. You also must help us by prayer so that many will give thanks on our behalf for the blessing granted us through the prayers of many. And I emphasize the prayers of many, community prayer. Um, I did look up the word community, and I just want to share that with you. Community means a unified body of individuals with common interest. A unified body, together, drawing us together. Corporate prayer opens up your heart to the needs of others. It brings encouragement. It brings repentance. It brings edification and joy and the feeling of love among believers. It shows togetherness and the body of Christ working together, submitting to the will of God. In uh, Matthew 18, verses 19 through 20, it just reminds us where two or three are gathered. In my name, there I am. So he's in the midst of us when we pray corporately, when, when we're together with others. Not that he's not in the midst when we are alone. He's there also. But it tells us here, where two or three are gathered, I am there also. So before we go into prayer, uh, Nancy would like to give a, a small testimony on prayer itself. I just like to say that um, early in my life as a Christian, I my family attended a church and they decided to start a prayer breakfast. And I'm ashamed to say this, but I actually came up with excuses to not go because <laughs> they were small in number and I knew they'd call on me to pray and I didn't want to pray. So for a couple months, I had excuses that it didn't suit me to go. And then eventually I just thought, this isn't right. I guess I was being convicted. But I know that um, prayer has to start somewhere. And we, we start just communicating with God, and then we branch out. And God showed me this week to even bring out the, the verse about um, don't despise, despise small beginnings. Mm -hmm. And really when we're praying and we're just starting out and we have this fear of prayer, it's a small beginning once we start once we start praying. So we aren't to despise those small beginnings. So if you have a fear of praying, just start. Start at home with God and you. Then go to maybe a prayer partner, a friend. I know I have a prayer partner. Um, then branch out and, and join small groups. I know we have our connect groups at church. We have Sunday night prayer. Um, so just just start. Communicate with God and then get together with a friend and then a couple <clears throat> friends and just keep on going because there's so much more power in praying. And so we just we just want to say, just start. Amen. Good, good, good uh, testimony, Nancy. So we're gonna we're gonna come to the Lord in prayer now. So Father, as we come before you in community with like minds today. We come with thanksgiving and praise in our hearts and our voices. It's you that we rejoice in, Father. You awaken us with breath in our lungs each day to glorify you and you alone. Let your name be magnified. Father, we have been walking through the valley of the shadow of death for many months uh, through this pandemic, Lord, and many are scarred by the separation of their families, and traumatized by fear and pain due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Father, we lay all our burdens down at the foot of the cross. Matthew 11:28 tells us to come to you when we are weary and burdened and you will give us rest for your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Father, in the midst of all the chaos and you prepare a table, a table of provision for each one of us, so we as a community can come together to your table to be renewed with strength as we feed on your word, Lord. 
You know the needs of our hearts, Father, before we even ask for them. But we pray now for our pastors, our leaders of small groups, volunteers who are so important in our churches, those in leadership in our communities, for our missionaries, for our evangelists. May they be renewed and strengthened as they rest in you, Father. Let them come and feed at your table, the table of wisdom and knowledge and, and truth. Let them be filled to overflowing in grace and mercy, Jesus. Let their mouth be filled with truth as they pour out the message of the gospel and bring many to the saving graces of Jesus Christ. Restore them when they're weary, Father. Let revival arise in the land and the evil be taken out. Father, we pray for our government leaders right now. We know there's a lot of turmoil and a lot of separation from the left to the right, but that we, you will bring unity to them in Jesus' name. We ask, Father, that you surround them with protection. We pray for the earth to be invaded by the atmosphere of heaven as we cry out to you, Lord. Hear the cries of your people as we repent, and you will hear us and you will heal our lands. We ask, Father, that you heal the brokenhearted, tear down strongholds, show mercy to the homeless, and heal the sick. There are many in our church, Father, now that need their bodies to be healed. So we ask in the powerful name of Jesus to pour out your healing right now in these bodies that they will rise up, that the glory of the Lord will be seen in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your precious son, Jesus. He's our redeemer. He's our friend. He's the rock in which we stand. He's our strength. He's our healer, our sustainer. Thank you, God, for sustaining all of us through these difficult times, Lord. There are many that are struggling with emotional health, and we ask that you touch their minds, touch their hearts, touch their bodies, God. We pray specifically for Joe and Dolores, God, that you would touch Joe's body, Lord, and you would strengthen Dolores, Lord. We pray for Muffin, Shelly's sister, and her mom, God, that you would touch each of those, Lord, and for Kyle, that you would give the doctors wisdom and discernment. Lord mm. God, we pray too for Stanley Blankham, Lord, mm. that you'd continue yes, to touch him, Lord, that God, you would Jesus. heal him from his surgery and continue to um, grow all these people closer Jesus. to you through the mm. times mm. of of stress, Lord, of waiting for you to heal their bodies. And Jesus, you are the healer. Yes, you are the great physician. Your mm -hmm. word says, by my stripes you are healed. Thank and you, we Lord. come in faith Jesus, believing that. Yes, Father, mm -hmm. we pray too that you, um, we thank you, God, that you are above all things that are going on in Jesus. our nation today. Yes, Thank you that you are mm -hmm. all powerful, you are all knowing. Mm -hmm. God, you know every secret, all mm -hmm. the hidden things. There's mm -hmm. nothing hidden from you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we're asking too that you would give us a resurgent in the mm -hmm. for a desire for truth in yes. our nation, Lord. Yes, Lord. That God, mm -hmm. even in our workplaces, mm -hmm. our families, Lord, may there be a, a growth a desire for righteousness, Lord, yes. righteousness mm -hmm. to prevail across mm -hmm. our nation, righteousness in our families, mm -hmm. righteousness in our communities and workplaces, mm -hmm. Lord. Yes. We just come before you thanking mm -hmm. you, God, that you give us that armor, Lord. Thank you for all the pieces, God, mm -hmm. for the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth. Thank you that Jesus. we can walk in your mm -hmm. peace, Lord, and we can carry that shield of faith, mm -hmm. that sword of the spirit. God, you equip us so yes, well. Lord. When we abide in you, we have those pieces Jesus. of armor. Thank you, Lord. God, help us all to abide in you, to stay close to you, to be yes, intimate Lord. with Thank you. you and God, help us to grow in our, in our prayer with one another, Lord, mm -hmm. to be a community. We know, God, mm -hmm. there's so much power when yes. we come together, Lord. Yes, Lord. And so, God, we pray that each person will, will take this seriously to pray with one another, God. We come against the spirit of fear that yes. would cause them to mm -hmm. not want to start. 
to even do it, God, the best way is to just start. Yes, Lord. So, Lord, we ask that you lay it on people's hearts to find someone to pray with mm -hmm. and, and then maybe even a small group that they could form Jesus, themselves yes, to have mm -hmm. uh, times of prayer, Lord. Mm -hmm. So, God, we just come before you. We come humbly, God. Mm -hmm. And we know, God, mm -hmm. that as we continue to thank you and mm -hmm. praise you, and give you all the glory. It takes our eyes off of self, mm. Lord. Yes, and Lord. we know, Father yes. God, that you want us to be focused on you because it's all about you, Lord. Yes. We thank you, Jesus, that we can come to you, Lord. And when we praise you and honor you and worship you, Lord, we just uh, draw our attention to you, Lord. And then that pride that mm. we may try, that tries to come in us, God, mm. we may have, that God, that drops off when we keep giving yes, you Lord. the thanksgiving and the praise yes, and the glory. So God, we thank you. Thank, thank you. you that we have the opportunity mm. to pray. We pray for those that are lonely right yes, now. Lord. We pray for those families mm. where death has occurred and they mm. they need you, your comfort, yes, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Surround them with your love. Yes, Fill them with your presence, Lord. Lord, that they can just sense your warmth and your mm. love, God. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank mm. you. Thank you that we can come to you at any time, Lord. Mm. There's never a busy signal. Mm. There's never mm. press one for this or press two for that. <laughs> God, we can come yeah. to you any <laughs> second of any day. And so, thank Father, you, we just thank, thank you, you and praise you over and you over, much. God. Mm. We just love you so much, thank Lord. You, and we just ask that you draw... Um, us all together mm -hmm. in you, Lord. We pray for our church, Lord, mm -hmm. for Pastor Devin and yes. Jess, that, thank you, God, you would just thank fill them, them with wisdom and discernment, Lord. Yes, thank Lord. you for his humble heart. Mm -hmm. He loves you so much, Lord. We thank pray you, Lord. that you continue to guide him in ways to guide the flock. Yes. We pray for pastors all over this mm -hmm. nation, Lord, for yes, uh, Bible-believing, mm -hmm. spirit-filled churches, yes. Lord, to overflow with an increase of you yes, and an increase mm -hmm desire for mm. you. May all Thank the churches you, start forming communities yes. of prayer, Lord. Mm. And we could be powerhouses across the United States yes. and around the world, Lord, for you, for your kingdom. You, so we just love you. We trust you, Jesus. We give you this day. Mm. We give you um, everything about us, Lord. We surrender we ourselves surrender fully all. to you, Thank because you, when we surrender mm. ourselves fully, then there's more room for you, yes. Holy Spirit, to Thank fill you. us up with. So, mm -hmm. God, God, we just praise you and thank you. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, Nancy and I just want to thank you for joining us this afternoon. And just remember how important community prayer is and the power of prayer as we come in agreement with one another. That's so important. So we leave you with this song reminding you of how great our God is, knowing nothing is impossible for him. Let this song resonate in your spirit. So throughout the day, you're going to be humming this song, not even knowing that you're doing it. And maybe, just maybe, you're going to touch somebody else's life. So we ask blessings upon each one of you today. And as always, we say, Shalom. Peace be That was pretty good, DG. Hey, thank High you. Five. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I thought about doing a song. I thought, you know, no one's. Oh. oh. No, it's like you need.